Marcus Conti, incidental journalist, incidental, accidental, whistleblower, plaintiff in Conti versus DSNY. There's the number. So, <laughs> it just, it just, I, we're falling, the country's falling apart in terms of its identity. We're, we're in an identity, identity crisis. So, student wearing MAGA, the Make America Great hat, booted from safe space coffee shop on a college campus. They got a video of it. We're going to watch the video, but let's just get a little background. A social justice warrior booted <laughs> our fellow Fordham University student from a Bronx campus coffee house, coffee shop, because their pro-Trump Make America Great Again hats violate its safe space policy. Now, the Hill covered this, this thing as well and uh, found out that Fordham University doesn't have a safe place policy. So this is actually a dispute between um, two students. The volunteer, they're both, the one's a volunteer that runs the coffee shop and the other one's just a, you know, white guy wearing a Make America Great Again hat, right? So let, let's, um, let's, let's watch the video and then I'll, I'll comment and more. You, you got to see this. This is, again, Fordham University, New York City. Pal, let's go. So again, both both of them are students. One of them, these, these two guys came in for coffee, and you see the little girl. Uh, I don't know, maybe she's she she's Asian or Latino woman girl, American accent, very clear, and she's screaming. She's giving him five minutes. You have five minutes to get out of my coffee shop. Uh, so let's see. Let's see how they handle this. Right. Texting my customers. From what? Where are your customers? We bought something. Yeah. yeah. I don't want people like you supporting this club. Well, then you should include. No that. one cares. I want to refund my coffee. Like yeah. Then I'll give you more coffee. Then I want to refund. Yeah. See, that's disgusting right there. You heard? That's that's the definition of racism. She said, "I don't want people like you supporting this club." Ooh, people like you. Oh. Oh, people fought and died throughout the 60s for to, to prevent stuff like that. And here's this little girl trying to defend equality and, and, and openness and, and, and diversity. And she's saying, people like you. People like what? Well, 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 let's find out what they did. What the hell? What's the crime? What, what is the crime? Let's find out. Give us all refunds and we'll leave. Well, you drank it after. So she's she now so she's handing she has a policy in her hand. She wants to she's gonna institute this policy. Right, and so the guy takes a picture of the policy. He's looking down at the policy, and she's she's giving him less and less time. You have five minutes. You have five minutes to get out of my store. Get out of my store. Get out of my store. You're offensive. You're you're. Oh my God. So he's taking a picture, and let's we'll we'll we'll, we'll look at we'll look at what the paper said after. Let's just watch the rest of it. It's hysterical. Very soon it will be three minutes. Wow. You're trying to be Why are you being threatening? Because you are threatening the integrity of our club. This is a community standard. You are wearing hats that completely violate your safe space policy. I'm going to take off where you have to go. Yes, it does. What is the three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. Fascism. Nazi. Okay, what do you want? Three minutes. I do not see fascism, Nazi on this hat. I see it on America. Three minutes. We're approaching like, like, um, it's like it's like the Twilight Zone. We landed on a planet and everyone is is losing their mind or something. And you, you hear her. She's she's screaming. She's screaming. You're a fascist. Your hat. Uh, he's the guy. The kid. The kid is wearing 
the the hat of the democratically elected president of the United States, right? Could make America great again. It was his campaign promise, and she's accusing him of in, in front of a in a public place, screaming at him, calling him a fascist. You're a fascist. Yo, 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 you, those people, you people, people like you. That defines racism. What's interesting, too, about Fordham University is right across the street is the headquarters of the New York State Division of Human Rights. Why don't you go over there and, and, and fucking, you know, file, file a complaint? See what, see, how, see what they tell you, right? But anyway, this is, um, this is, this is silly season right here. This is, this is um, you know, where were these people when, when Bernie Sanders, when the, when the Democratic National Committee was stabbing Bernie Sanders in the back and promoting Hillary Clinton? Where, where, where was the fascism then? Where were they, where, where, you know, okay, listen, Trump, I had one moment where I thought Trump went a little too far, and that was when he was campaigning against Mark, Marco Rubio and T Ted Cruz, and they were kicking Trump was kicking out the press from his rallies. Right? He was shutting. He was cornering them into a little space. I said, "Man, that's that's not that's not right. That that looked that's had a had a, the scent of fascism." And <clears throat> but that was a year ago, and we found out that Trump is actually ahead of the ahead of the curve. In that. He's not allowing the press to come in and shit all over his parade, you know, and, and you know, piss on his head. Uh, you know, why, why does he have to let them in if they're all, why does he have to let these press people come in if all they're going to do is come in and lie and cheat and, and support the other candidate? That's the only reason they were at his conventions, his rallies anyway, was to denigrate him. So he kicked them out, right? And they're continuing to do it, so they don't deserve our respect. So we give Trump kudos in that respect but to call him a fascist is 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 now becoming well ridiculous it it's you know i feel sorry for the little girl she's gaslighted by the mainstream media who keeps telling him telling her that that trump is a fascist and and all this but if you actually take a minute to look up what fascism is they're referring to the nazi movement you know the germans and it's a, it's an, it's inaccurate. And here's, here's the biggest thing. Here's the takeaway. I'm not going to dissect this too much. You, it, it speaks for itself, right? The, the kid is wearing a hat. Free speech. He's paying seventy thousand dollars to go to the school. He's a student, right? He's a student, and he's in his his coffee shop wearing the hat of the democratically elected president of the United States of America. His campaign hat. And, 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 and this is what he has to deal with. But the thing about fascism is that fascism in Germany didn't start on the far right, like, like this young girl is implying. It starts on the far left with ideas like, like she has, that, that this, this, the, this hat is so powerful, this, this symbol, this symbolism is so powerful that it, it's, it's so offensive. What happens if the two guys in the... And this, I'll leave on this final thing. What happens if these two guys walked in with turbans, right? And and someone someone like this stands up in the, in the crowd and screams, "Get out of my place! It's offensive! You're offending me!" What what would happen? What what would happen? You know the outrage, right? Well, look, Fordham University. This is two students arguing it out, but you have to hold this this kid accountable. All right. This is discrimination. This is this is a, a violating someone's, you know, a, a, a ability to, to 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 express themselves openly. Wearing a hat, holding a sign, free speech. Uh, it's a First Amendment right. Right. He wasn't offending anybody. So the snowflakes. Right. It's snowing in New York today. Celebrate the snowflakes. Peace out.